Do you want to sell your house by owner? Or like I like to say, do it yourself? Well, today I'm going to give you five tips. I'm Tracy Tam, and yes, I am a real estate professional, but there are times that sellers sometimes feel like they need to sell their house on their own. And I'm not going to tell you that that's not possible. So today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get started. <music> So number one is the price. By far, the price is probably the most difficult thing that you have to come up with when putting your house for sale by owner because you have to take all the emotion out of it. It's not what you think your house is worth. It's actually what the market says that your house will bear at the time that you put it on the market. So let's say that you run into that family at church and they happen to have a house that they sold about a year ago and it has the same amount of bedrooms and bathrooms as yours did and it has a pool yours has a pool and they tell you a certain price that they got for their home about a year ago well that can't compare to what your home is worth today we really need to look at the closed sales in your direct neighborhood and sometimes even on your street that have closed within the last three to six months so pricing is very important and it's best to set the correct list price from the beginning so that the buyers actually are attracted to your home and know that you're serious and really want to sell the house. Number two is preparing your home. Now don't freak out and think that you have to make some large renovations. I'm not talking about remodeling the kitchen or remodeling the bathroom. I'm talking about things that you can pretty much do yourself. Like I like to say, DIY stuff. So that means to declutter and to depersonalize everything that's around the house. Take a good look, start at the front door and do a deep clean of all the baseboards and the tracks of the doors and replace all the light bulbs. I actually did a previous video on this exact topic. So when I talk about preparing your home, I'm not talking about the big ticket items. I'm talking about just the maintenance. The buyers wanna walk in and first impression is everything. They wanna just make sure that it feels like it's been a house that's been maintained and properly cared for over the years. I've actually written a detailed guide and it specifically goes throughout from the beginning to the end on how to sell your home by owner. So I think that that would be something that might help you out if you are thinking about doing it yourself. And I'm going to put that link below. That link is going to take you to my website, toptierre.com, and it is going to ask you for your email. And it's just because we want to make sure that you're a person and not a bot. Don't worry. I hate spammers just as much as you. And number three are photos and video. Make sure that you're not just taking pictures with your, with your cell phone and putting those online. I would recommend that you hire a professional photographer and make sure that that professional photographer can also do a walkthrough video for you because a walkthrough video is so important, especially here in South Florida. We have a lot of buyers that aren't actually present here. They're moving here from different parts of the United States and different parts of the world. So they need to get a feel for the flow of the home and a video gives them a much better feel of the kitchen in relationship to the living room or even the outside view. We do a lot of drone photography that shows the neighborhood and a lot of our buyers, especially our buyers that aren't local, they love the drone videographer so that they can get a feel for the, the area that the actual house is in. So I definitely would recommend hiring a professional photographer that can also do a, a video walkthrough of your home. And if you need any recommendations, I work with an amazing professional photographer and I would love to share his contact information with you if that's the route that you would like to take. Number four is disclosures. This is very, very important. I'm a Florida real estate broker and we have a five page form. It's actually called a seller's property disclosure form. And my recommendation always to sellers is to disclose everything. If, if it's a concern to you, I say put it on the paper. You can never disclose too much. So that's always my advice to all sellers. A seller's disclosure and things that you want to disclose are what year the roof is, whether or not you have um, septic tank, whether or not you're well water or city water, are there any open permits? There's so many things that you need to disclose. So make sure that you fill out a proper disclosure form. And once again, my advice is to disclose everything. 
So for example, if you know that, say you have a pool and six months ago, you noticed more often that you had to keep filling the pool up because it continued to reduce the water in it and you never really had that checked out and then you sold your home and then the new buyers see that the pool keeps losing the water day so they call a pool inspector out and the pool inspector says that there's a crack or somewhere a leak in the pool and that it was from a long time ago and that the previous sellers definitely knew about it because it's a long long time leak that's been there well that could be definitely a big lawsuit just disclose everything so the number five and final tip is marketing your home. So you can't just put a for sale by owner sign in the front door, front yard and expect it to sell. So Zillow, you can place your home on Zillow for free and I would definitely recommend that. But just remember with Zillow, Zillow is a big company and they sell advertisement space to realtors that pay a lot of money to get their name and phone number on those homes like your yours that you're selling by owner so your name and phone number are going to be buried somewhere on that page and they're most likely going to be in black and white and very very small so the customer that's looking for a home their eyes are going to get attracted to the realtor so most likely when you're putting it on zillow you're going to be receiving a lot of phone calls from real estate agents because the buyers have called them for your home and then they're gonna be calling you. So if you are offering compensation to the selling agent, make sure that you put that in your description and I would highly recommend to at least offer whatever the customary commission is in your area. Here in South Florida, it's about three to 4% for the selling agent. And if you're going to be offering that, make sure you put that in the Zillow description so people can see that, especially realtors. And I would also recommend for you to put your name and your phone number in the description so that the buyers can see that and don't actually have to dig and look if they are trying to find your name and number on the Zillow page. So a few things to be cautious about. Um, you definitely can do it on your own. And if you need help, like I said, reach out to me. But just make sure that you know that the type of buyer that you're going to be attracting by doing a for sale by owner most likely are going to be the investor that wants to buy the home for pennies on the dollar because of course they're looking for the return on the investment or they're looking to flip it or they're looking to rent it which once again comes down to the bottom dollar you're also going to find buyers that probably don't have impeccable credit and they're going to ask you to do a lease option or maybe even hold financing. So just be wary of the type of buyers that you're going to be attracting when you're doing the for sale by owner, the buyers that aren't working with a professional realtor. You do want to make your home easy to show and very accessible because when buyers are looking at a house and they're ready to see it, they wanna see it right now. And that might be maybe a 30 minute or hour time frame. So if you're not opposed to a lockbox and you're listing it with a realtor, I recommend an electronic lockbox. But if you're doing it on your own, obviously you're going to have to be there to escort the buyer. Make sure, please make sure that you have a copy of their driver's license and their DU approval from a reputable lender. I would even go as far to say to call that lender just to verify that it's a legit DU approval before showing them and letting them in the home. But once again, a good tip is to make it as, as accessible as can be to the buyers that are wanting to come take a look at it, especially if they're approved. So I've given you five tips and I've kind of told you about the things not to do so that you're safer in this process. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always available. I can also offer you a free comparative market analysis. If you want a baseline for what your home might sell for, obviously I can't give you an exact price because I haven't seen the inside of your home, but we could get pretty close by just seeing what has sold in the area, price per square footage, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, whether you have a pool, the lot size, etc. So I'd be happy to give you a comparative market analysis. Just reach out to me, either email me or tell me in the comments that you would like one and provide me your email or DM me on Facebook, whatever it is or whatever you need feel free to reach out to me. And don't forget to watch that video on the staging tips. 
Also, don't forget to click that link on that for sale by owner guide. It's a detailed guide that's going to help you from start to finish. And I think it's a really good guide for you to keep in your possession as you're trying to sell your home on your own. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope these tips helped and I'll see you next week on Talk with Tracy.